So, Paul, the events on the 29th and the 30th of November, um, how is that going to help and support Mind Health? Well, Mind Health rely totally on this sort of fundraising to keep their support groups open, free at the point of use for all the men who visit our groups every week. We run 50 weeks of the year throughout the year, throughout the region, uh, and we just need to we need to increase the number of groups. So the fundraising from this event will help us increase the number of groups. It certainly gets our message out there about the work that we do. Uh, every suicide is a tragedy. Uh, the North East is the forefront of male suicide and has been for many, many years. Suicide figures have just increased for the first time in 20 years. And I came across an extraordinary stat today while I was doing some research in the World Suicide Day, which is on September the 10th. Since the year 2000, we've lost over 96,000 men to suicide, which is a disgrace. And we need to raise awareness of that issue and do something about it. Um, so one more thing, can you tell us a little bit about, about what's going to happen on, on the night, on the 29th and 30th? Yeah, changing the mood completely. Yeah. We hope it's going to be a musical extravaganza uh, with, a, with a fantastic band, 14-piece live band, five fantastic vocalists. Yes, it's <laughs> going to be absolutely amazing. We're really looking forward to it. It's, it's an event like no other. It's never been an event like this in the northeast of England. A fantastic venue. Uh, and it should be an amazing couple of days. And I love the link between music and mental health because music is good for the mental health. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, amazing. whenever I'm uh, not feeling great, I turn the music up very, very loud, sing along. So, and that's what it's all about this evening supporting men's mental health. We're having a fantastic time. Yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, without a doubt. <laughs>